Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm addressing something, well, let's be honest, it's a little bit of a piss off. Um, I live in a dry climate here in uh, Western Canada, and um, I think Corax White was formulated to work in higher humidity environments. Now, to be clear, I haven't had this uh, issue of things just spraying on chalky. I haven't had that issue with other colors, for example, the uh, the, the the Wraithbone primer that we use for contrast paints, uh, the blacks, uh, Armored Painter White has had no problems um, with being kind of chalky, uh, but the Corax White seems to be the one that's kind of acting up the most. So, I'm just gonna take this off. There's chalk everywhere when I do that. Um, so I don't know if you can see this, but I paid 20 bucks Canadian uh, for a can of the Corax White, which is a bit of a frustrating thing. Um, I've done uh, two rounds of models and you can see it's just that it powders up. Now, I know there's issues with distance and things like that, um, but it's just driving me crazy that this is actually being a thing. Um, I shake the can, um, I set a timer on my watch, I shake it for like three minutes, it's, it's supposed to be two minutes. Um, I do the exact same spray distance every time, about 12 inches. Um, I've tried closer and farther, but I still get this chalkiness. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just down to the paint. Everything else that I t intend to use seems to be fine. Um, and it's not just a bad batch either. This has happened kind of a few times. So I might not be buying Corax White for the next little bit, uh, unless I'm spraying in a more humid place. And in that case, go ahead. Now, if you do get a chalky, uh, you know, kind of, kind of prime on here, what I'm using is an old school tank brush and all I'm going to do is just flick off or dust. Now, I don't know if you can see this on the screen, but it's throwing off tons of this powder. What's nice about this is the primer is still underneath, but man, it just throws off a ton. So all I'm really doing is just doing a really strong dusting of the powder. Anyway, when you stop seeing powder come off, make sure you're getting all the nooks and crannies and all that. But once you see the powder um, stop coming off, and you've pretty much got it all done. You can also do a little bit of a fingernail test where you just kind of feel it should be slightly rough, but it shouldn't feel powdery. There shouldn't be any kind of slippage under your fingers there. Anyway, with that obstacle overcome, I'm gonna continue on painting these guys. I hope this was of value to you guys and save you a little bit of heartache and trouble if you're in dry climates. So if you liked the video, uh, just hit that like button right there, pound it, get some message out to everybody else. Uh, if you want more helpful videos like this or painting tutorials or gaming or anything like that, jab that subscribe button and then uh, you'll get notifications of all of our future videos. And that's it for this one, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.